I saw the Chicago Electric Digital Ultrasonic Cleaner on sale at Harbor Freight for about $80 and I had a 25% off coupon so I got it for around $60. Figured it was worth a shot. First thing I wanted to do is uh, something called a foil test. I see it. there's other YouTube videos showing how to do it. Some of them use chemicals, some of them just use water. I'm just using plain water. Right now I've got it running. Uh, I'll run it for about 10 minutes to degas it. And there's a quick shot of it just while it's working. Again, just plain water in there. I saw it done with and without a frame. Some people just hold the foil in the water, but I went ahead and made a simple frame out of some mechanics wire with a little handle so I could hang on to it. Uh, it's not a big square like some of them, but this unit doesn't have enough room to put a 6x6 six six square or something like in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover the frame with a foil. So you can see I've got the frame covered with a foil. Obviously there are some dents and wrinkles in it right now, but there's what it looks like before it starts. They all say to do it for 60 seconds, so I've got this set for 90. I'll just shut it off when it gets to 30. So I'm going to go ahead and dip the foil in there. I'm going to hold it in the middle somewhere, not touching any of the sides or the bottom, and let it go. So that was 60 seconds, shut it off, we can take a look at it. So the way I understood what they were saying on the uh, other tests is you were hoping to have a fairly even pattern. It didn't have to be these large punctures, but at least activity all over. And it looks here that there's a lot of activity in one area, some here, and then there's some dead zones in there. Here's the other side of it again. You can see a lot of dimples here in this area. Then in this area, a lot of activity in all the rips. I'm not sure how much difference the way I folded it over and the frame could have on any of that. Uh, any of you experts out there are more than welcome to chime in in the comments. But there's what it did to the foil. One of the things that I recall seeing that I thought would be a simple first test was cleaning spark plugs. And uh, I know there's a YouTube video from someone else that said this Harbor Freight Cleaner did a good job on them, so I thought I'd try it myself. And this is a spark plug out of one of my two-stroke scooter engines. There's a good look at it now. You can see it's pretty black. I read a tip online. I don't know how well this will work, but again, I'm going to give it a shot. I read that uh, you can put your cleaner, I'll just be using Simple Green, inside of a Ziploc bag, and then put your part inside of there, and that way you won't have to clean the uh, ultrasonic cleaner out all the time. I have no idea if that'll work, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so I've got the heat on on the ultrasonic cleaner. I've been letting that sit for a while, warm up. And I've had the bag of uh, straight simple green in there, warming up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put my spark plug into the bag with a simple green. Drop that back down into the water. And then I'll run this for one 180 second, three minute cycle and just see what it does. That's the end of the cycle, so let's take a look at it. So there it is after 180 seconds in there, three minutes. You can see it actually is starting to clean up the lip here. The outside of the spark plug is very clean right now. So now I've got the spark plug back in the back of Simple Green, and I'm going to give it a 480 second cycle.
there's a look at the spark plug now. You can see it's cleaning a good bit of the base area around this ring. And I don't know that it'll pick it up on here, but it is actually cleaning down inside the metal inside of there as well. The outside of the spark plug, again, pretty clean. Not doing a whole lot for the porcelain. The porcelain's still pretty much as dark as it started out. You can see what I got from the test I just tried, but if you've got some tips or tricks, leave them in the comments below. If you found the video helpful or interesting, please like it. Thanks.